Softube just released a bundle of three brand new compressors. This includes an FET style, a VCA, and an Opto style compressor. We're gonna give a listen to these compressors on vocals, drums, and acoustic guitar. And we're also gonna talk about, is this another run of the mill recreation of a classic compressor? Or did Softube really knock it out of the park with these compressors, and are they worth the price? Drop a coin and play a sad old sound Cause our neon left this one horse town it ain't ever What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Forrest Whitehead. I created this channel to help songwriters at home produce better records. And when it comes to producing on your computer, there's so many different tools to choose from. But today I wanna to explore Softube's Icon Compressor Collection. This collection has three of the most commonly used compressors, and pretty much anything within your session can be tamed with these compressors. Let's check them out. Can't see nothing but each other's eyes. Oh, she'd take a shot of that, but it ain't ever coming back. Here's without it. Drop a coin and play a sad old sound Cause her neon left this one horse town Here's with it It ain't ever coming back Again, it just lifts it up There's a couple sitting across the bar tonight Here's without it Can't see nothing but each other's eyes Oh, Here's with she'd it. take a shot of that But it ain't ever coming back there I love that, and you know what? If we wanted to add this FET in the mix I would add this right before that opto And let's give it a listen here Drop a coin and play a sad old sound Cause her neon left this one horse Sitting across the bar tonight Can't see nothing but each other's eyes Oh, she'd take a shot at that But it ain't ever coming back There's Drop a coin and play a sad old sound Cause her neon left this one horse town It ain't ever coming back There's a couple sitting across the bar tonight can't see nothing but each other's eyes. So this is a oh, classic a example of how I'd mix a vocal with these compressors. Let's go ahead and take them off real quick or bypass them and listen to what we have. Drop a coin and play a sad old sound Cause her neon left this one horse town It ain't ever coming back And here's with the compressors. Drop a coin and play a sad old sound Cause her neon left this one horse town It ain't ever coming back So a really desirable style of compression there. So this is a stereo recorded acoustic and I've just got a little bit of EQ and a light bit of compression Many years ago But let's start out with this FET here. So it really brings it forward. Again, another beautiful layout on this interface. Here's without it. So it just kind of brings some of those subtle finger picking parts right up out of the mix. And what I usually like to do is follow this up with an opto style compressor. So that's what we're gonna grab now. And this is very common for an acoustic guitar chain or even a vocal chain to kind of stack these compressors, the FET, and then going right into this opto. And so what this opto is gonna do is just give it that last tube style of squeeze and really let it sit on top of the mix. Check this out. Let's over exaggerate this opto. But I try to keep it about 3 to 4 dB. And you'll notice on both of these compressors, I'm not compressing too much. But if I take off the opto, I'm going to bring back the opto here. And here's without both of these compressors in the chain. And 
and here's with both the compressors. So again, it's raising a little bit of that noise floor too. So when you're using these tube style of compressors, when you start stacking them like this, of course, the more gain you're reducing and the more levels of that noise floor is going to rise. So you got to be careful whenever you're compressing not to bring too much of that out. But let's go ahead and move on to the vocals. All that I'm going to show you here on this vocal is just this opto compressor because I feel like it sounds amazing. Here's without it. Of a towering oak, as he was giving himself. And here's with it. Be many months before you woke beneath the leaves of a towering oak as he was giving himself to spring. I just love the sound of this opto compressor on a vocal. Be many months before you woke beneath the leaves of a towering oak as he was giving himself to spring. Let's listen just to the vocal. He was reaching towards the sun, begging for the rain to come, and it did. Here's without it. Be many months before you woke beneath the leaves of a towering oak. Here's with. As he was giving himself to spring. Well, he was reaching towards the sun, begging for the rain to come, and it did. Be many months before you woke beneath the leaves of a towering oak. As he was giving himself to spring Well, he was reaching towards the sun Begging for the rain to come And it did If you want to over-exaggerate it and then mix your dry wet knob in As he was giving himself to spring It sounds great Well, he was reaching towards the sun Begging for the rain to come, and it did. And again, it really does remind me of my actual LA-2A here. And I'm familiar with what that sounds like. And I gotta be honest, this version of this opto compressor, not to say that it's better than a UAD. If I would say that it is better than a UAD plug-in, it's just because it's resizable. Sound-wise, they're very comparable. But sometimes just having this being resizable and more fun to look at and work with makes a difference on which plugins you'll choose. I mean, this is something that you don't get with every plugin manufacturer. And of course, it's not about how they look more than how they sound, but it does, if you're staring at a screen all day, having something that's cool to look at and that can be resizable, that way, if you wanna really look at the details of some of these parameters, you can do that. So. I love that about soft tube plugins, but let's go ahead and see how this VCA compressor sounds on a drum kit. I want you to listen for that tube compression that just kind of gives more of a snap to these drums. I'm going to over exaggerate the plugin so you can hear what it's doing. Now you can hear it. I'm over exaggerating this compression. I'm turning it way up just so you can hear it but you can hear how this brings that extra snap to the drums. And I want you to pay attention to this dry wet knob here. To be able to dial in the right amount, we're gonna be able to blend this compressor in and that's where the magic happens with your drums. Check it out, here it is. And this is about 50% parallel. If I go all the way wet, this is what the affected sound sounds like. So hearing that over-exaggerated, really slammed drum room, I can mix that in 50%. It's a really subtle difference, but it really changed the energy and the attack of these drums. And another fun thing that I found out, if you go to this output drive over here, watch what happens to the GUI here. So 
So it starts flashing red when it really starts distorting. And a lot of times that is a desirable thing. And that's why you wanna use your dry, wet knob to kind of blend this in with your drums just for a little taste of that overcompressed room sound. To really make the most of an investment in a classic compressor bundle like this, you really need to understand the basics of compression, what's already available into your DAW. That way, whenever you listen to these plugins, you'll really be able to tell the difference. So right now on the SoftTube website, you can pick up this collection for 200 bucks. For $200, you get three expertly modeled compressors. I feel like if you can catch a sale on these compressor bundles, then that's whenever it's worth it. It's definitely more competitive out there for what you get, especially with the free plugins in your DAW. Now that's not to take away anything from this compressor bundle. I think these are some of the best looking plugins and best sounding plugins with some of the most features available on the market today. Appreciate you guys hanging out to the end of the video. I'm really stoked on these soft tube plugins. Leave a comment below which one of these sound the best to you, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.